Hi folks, I hope you are well. Look here, we're looking at John Barnes European Football on the Commodore Amiga. Also come out on the Atari ST, I uh, don't think anything else, published by Chrysalis in 1992. It's a football game, but I'm sure you already knew that, for one to two players, where, um, yes, licensed by John Barnes, who played for Liverpool, most notably uh, Newcastle and Watford, had 79 caps for England and scored 11 goals. Well, John Barnes is on the cover, but he doesn't feature too much in the game. It's international football with a variety of different options. It's not top-down, it's 3D. We'll put the weather on. Sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we'll keep to a 10-minute match. I think you can go as low as 4 but, and up to 90, and we can't play this for 90 minutes, that's for sure. Uh, menu music is okay, presentation is okay, let's pick our team. Yugoslavia there on the bottom left do no longer exist. Excellent stuff. So we'll take control of England, we'll just play one game. As usual this is the first ga game I've ever played on this and no doubt with all football games it takes a, a little while to work out how to score goals and the finesse of doing tricks and different passes. But this review is not a walkthrough as we say, it's all about seeing how the game plays, getting a bit of a flavour of how it would have been on your first or second goal to say should we chase this down, is this the top football game ever or is it an also ran? So we're going to come on the pitch first of all, the crowd are already going bonkers. Here come uh, uh, Sweet, yes, yeah, us. Okay, so reckon oh, all licensed players here. Paul Bath, Gascoigne, uh, John Barnes is on the pitch, but you won't notice. And there's Sweden as well. All great players from yesteryear. How am I going to win this? Well, probably not. But let's uh, let's uh, hopefully there's a goal by someone so we can see the uh, goal celebrations, if indeed there are any. So here comes the the referee. Uh, it's oh dear, I've been fouled already. So it's horizontal. Now, quite often in these games, the uh, Oh, it's a free kick bit there. The strength of your shot depends on how quickly you hit the fire button or how long you hold it down for. So we'll experiment with that a little bit. Uh, it does tell you what player's got the ball at the time. Paul Gascoigne shoots. Oh, didn't look much like Paul Gascoigne. But uh, at least have had his shot there. Right, so you can tackle just by walking into the uh, opposing players or doing a sly tackle if you time it correctly. It's moving quite fast. Um, you don't see much of the screen because of the speed of it, but it's okay. Um, ball seems to stick to your feet, which is good. Unless you uh, do a sudden movement, then it will leave you. A scanner there on the bottom left. Oh, they've scored. Curses blast. Sweden take the lead 1-0. Let's see if we can equal. Oh, what's this celebration? He's going for a 400-meter run, is he? All right, calm down, lad. And that's not bad. That's good. Uh, some similarities to this to the Man United games, also by Chrysalis, I believe, this 2D thing. Could have called this Man United free, perhaps, but then they got John Barnes involved. He's a top rapper, is he? Maybe not. Um, I can't remember what his rap was in that England game. We're singing for England. England, we're singing a song. You can be slow or fast, something round the back. I don't know. You'll have to YouTube that, I don't know that. Right, come on, this might be, uh, this is John Barnes. Come on, John. Cross it. Oh, he just took it out of play, the fool. So this game takes a little bit of practice, I think, to get any good at it. We're sort of like getting the dribbling, but the passing and shooting needs a bit of finesse. Oh, there, there we go. I should have crossed it maybe there. This game's okay. Um, I prefer the top-down games much more of kick-off two, goal and sensible soccer which no doubt you will as well but as a 3d thing you have to try and compare this with emlyn hughes's soccer the man united games i said as, as well oh dear another foul it's not bad with those i wouldn't say it's a brilliant game but it does give you football um a kid would have been pleased with this and as soon as you start perfecting how to score the goals i think he would have had some distance with it moves well graphics are quite good and the best bit about this game is the crowd sounds as well you hear them ooh and ah and that does add a bit of atmosphere to the thing. I find it a little bit frustrating at the moment to get my passing together. But it's the frustrations that would come on your first few goals where it takes a while to get used to it. And that was always a fun back in the day where you'd get the game, you'd get used to it. And then a friend from school would come round and you'd beat them 16-0. 
and they couldn't work out what to do. Wasn't that the fun? And also they'd have the worst joystick at the tool. You'd have your good joystick and you have your bad joystick. It was like it was like the rules back then. But those were happy memories. Now, did you have this game back in 1992, or did you have another football game that you played instead? As I say, I tended to be a big fan of the kickoff two games and player manager as well. Was that a penalty and player manager as well? Right, so let's get our keeper in play. I oh, didn't even get a chance. Didn't even get a chance to see where the keeper was. That's ridiculous. He took the penalty before I was ready. The referee should have brought that back. So 2 0 to Sweden. If you're watching from Sweden, well done. Oh, uh, you're 2 uh, 0. Yeah, okay. But I think we beat you in the last World Cup 2 0, didn't we? So it's like evened out, really. It's evened out. I mean, this England team here. Um, are better than the England team at the moment, I would say. Players like David Batty, Lineker, Gascoigne. Um, didn't see did Shearer come on the pitch? I don't think he was on the pitch for this one. But John Barnes is there. Yeah. It was often said when it came to the England team, John Barnes was something of an enigma. He was brilliant for his club, Liverpool, got lots of goals. Uh, for England, um, he was very inconsistent. Sometimes he was good, quite often he was uh, not so good. Um, one of those players, a bit like Matthew Letizia, I suppose. But 11 goals for England in 79 caps. Maybe he scored, should have scored a lot more, sort of way he used to play. But what's going on here? Yellow card, Sweden. Or was it for us? Now, if it was the Swedish guy who got a yellow card there. Free kicks is nice. That's copied by a lot of other games. But Chrysalis sort of like knew what they were doing with games like this, the horizontal stuff. It's a sort of like thing you'd expect if you were down the arcades, isn't it, really? It's better than fighting soccer, which was a top-down one. That was from the arcades. These horizontal ones I'm not a huge fan of, but for what there is, this one doesn't play too badly if you're into this st style of game. Could be a bit quicker. I would like to see a bit more of the pitch because the speed of the things has zoomed out a bit more, perhaps, ever so slightly, not to a ridiculous level, and it might be easier to do your passing because, to be honest with you, that scanner down the left, no one's really going to use that, are they, in... First of all, as you run along with the ball, you've got to try and identify where you are and where your player is. You saw at the start we had different formations we could pick. I think you really have to get into your, your formations there and passing to get used to that because it's much the muchness for me. Half time, there's John Barnes there coming in. England nil, Sweden two. A running track around the pitch, which uh, makes the fans further away. How many lanes has that track got? Looks like a million and two. Go right. We can do it this time. We're cooking the uh, cooking. We're not doing any cooking, but we're kicking the other way. Did 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 did. Good tackle. Did 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 did. Oh dear. Did 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 did. Yeah, a bit weird the tackling. Sometimes you can just bump into another player, and, and the ball just goes from you to them rather than doing any side steps. But the computer's definitely got the edge over me at the moment. Pity there's not. I don't think there was a practice mode here, which Kickoff 2 had. If I had that, it, they might be there, but I might have missed it. There are quite a few options uh, about the place. I think they're going to get a third goal. I I just need to like dribble it up the field and maybe get a fluke goal. John Barnes, are you a Liverpool supporter? Yes. You might have. Uh, yeah, you might have uh, bought this if you was into Liverpool or got it as a as a present if your family were into Liverpool. Um, I think John Barnes played for some other teams as well, apart from uh, Watford and Newcastle. I think there's a couple of others we maybe just... I think Charlton Athletic he might have made a, about a few appearances for, but that was near the end of his career. Nowadays, when uh, players end their career, they end up going to like China uh, for mega money, or the USA, like Wayne Rooney recently has done, or Japan. Um, and they play just stupid money out there. If I could play for a Chinese team on stupid money, I could probably retire uh, after a month and then and then come back and do this channel full time forever. So if you are the manager of a Chinese football team out there, um, although um, I'm maybe not in my peak of my football career, um, I'm no worse than I was when I was young because I was terrible. Um, but sign me up for a, a month on uh, three hundred thousand pounds a week, and uh, if you don't like me after a month, then um, put me on a free transfer or we'll leave. You know, I might be a super player. It's worth three hundred thousand uh, pounds a week, isn't it, for a month? Yeah, I think that's worth doing. Contact me. 
Right, they've got a, they've got a corner, Sweden, and it's come to nothing. Our goalkeeper, Chris Woods, has saved it with perfect aplomb. Right, boot up the field. Oh, no. Boot up the field. Come off the players' back heel. We're seeing that quite a lot in this. It's the second half. We're still 2-0 down. But we haven't let in any more goals, which is good to see. Oh, man. At time recording, the uh, football season is just about starting. The championship has started. And the premiership is next week, I believe. Who's going to win this time? Man City won by about a million points last season. Uh, but there we go. Oh, I've been fouled again. Now, I'm losing 2-0, but I'm going to win the fair play, surely. Now, can I knock this straight in the goal? That would be great. Forward on the joystick or something and some clever fight. Oh, that's too lofty. Keeper's going to have that every time. Well done, Thomas Rivelli. That doesn't sound very Swedish. That sounds a bit Italian. Oh, come on, England. Bom, 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 bom. Here we go. Yes, it was a shame about the World Cup for England. We was doing quite well. Oh, we had quite an easy run into it, but we... Oh, dear, Pulse. We ran out of go-go juice and ended up coming fourth. But the uh, the country come together, which they haven't done for a, quite a while with England, so I'm thankful of that. If we'd won the World Cup, the whole... Well, the whole nation would have gone absolutely insane. Right, but uh, in this game, I need a lot more practice before we can even attempt to do that. So what do you think of the game so far? Do you think it's okay as a football game? Uh, is it one you would track down? Or is it one you think, now nah, stick with sensible soccer or kick off two and the like here? Yes. I suppose, I suppose one could argue the FIFA games wouldn't have actually existed without things like this beforehand. So it's like, a, it's like an old f fossil for FIFA. This is 1992. So I'm um, I'm sure FIFA was influenced by games like this, but they took it to a whole new whole new level, really. All the players look very similar on this one. I think they've all got the same hairstyles, haven't they? All the same colour, but very arcadey in its appeal. I don't mind it. I don't think it's a game I'd have come back to a great deal though, because I don't think I can get too much good at it. And as a kid, uh, games you weren't good at, you just <laughs> you just didn't play anymore, did you? If you couldn't get good within two or three goals, very few people would keep on playing, unless there was some sort of level of addictiveness uh, to it, or you just ran a friend's house and it was some sort of competition. Oh, they shot! Oh dear, I think they did. Good save, sir. I'm not control. Sometimes you control your own keeper, like the penalties if you see them in time, and sometimes you don't. And thank goodness for that, because otherwise it'd be probably about 30 nil. Oh man, I'm getting gradually worse here. Blow the final whistle. I'll settle for... It's quite bad, isn't it, when you settle for a 2-0 loss. But we'll settle for a 2-0 loss. You're only beating us 2-0, Sweden. Corner's coming in. Oh, that, that's the end, I think. Is that the end? Yes, there's John Barton's. 2-0 at half-time, 2-0 at full-time. Well, hope you liked having a look at that one. I thought it was fairly average, but what it attempted to do, horizontal football, it was okay. That was John Barnes' European Football, published by Chrysalis in 1992. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or football, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Uh, big thanks to everyone that's subscribed so far to the channel, who are leaving comments and um, that sort of stuff. If you want to help a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does does help and I really do mean that. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.